I would like to invite uh, Brother Anwar Khan, the CEO of the Islamic Relief. And uh, at, uh, as he comes to the podium, uh, Brother Anwar Khan has been serving the community uh, for over 20 some years through the Islamic Relief. Islamic Relief has been his vehicle and he has been the one raising the millions of dollars over the years to fund all of these great projects Islamic Relief has been offering and serving the community of Muslims worldwide. I am very humbled to be here with the giants of the Islamic work. There's Dr. Said Muhammad Said, Dr. Jamal just left. There's so many brothers, Brother Shakir, seeing Dr. Sehal, mashallah, and so many brothers. It is difficult for me to tell you how I feel at this time. I felt, this is what I told the brothers when I heard the news. There are very few scholars, Muslim scholars in America. There are very few Muslim scholars with oceans of knowledge in America. Today there is one less Muslim scholar with oceans of knowledge who had the wisdom and would give fatwas based on his knowledge and his wisdom. It is not the loss of Dawa al Hijra or the Muslim community in Virginia or America. It is the loss for all of us in America when we lose the light. But as Brother Hussein just said, it's not really gone. Light doesn't go away. Inshallah, light passes when you have a candle and you pass the light. It's now with Brother Mofanna. It's with Brother Ali, Isa, Saheb, his own family. But it's also with Brother Hussein, with Imam Shakir, and every one of you here. The reason why so many of the giants of the Islamic work that we've looked up to for the last 40, 50 years are here today is because one of their own has made that transition. Traveling to many continents, many countries around the world, I have never seen so many people show up with so much love as with the prayer today. Brother Samir is standing behind me and is always my to me. They were sons, Brother Mofanna, and you brothers here to me. These were his brother, his young, his sons. He was an inspiration to many of us. He didn't say much to me, but the few things he said to me had an effect. I remember when I was standing here last year, he was giving me fundraising advice. I've only been fundraising for 21 years, but he was giving me fundraising advice. And he was right. He was right. I didn't realize he graduated from the same university as my mother in the same course. Masters in Islamic studies, am I correct? From University of Punjab? Yes, Lahore. Lahore, yes. That's where my mother graduated and I did the calculation. I think four, once he graduated, she joined the next year. The first woman in her course. She was from Sialkot, Pakistan. He was from Palestine. He went on to go around the world and to be a strength of knowledge, source of wisdom for all of us. My mother graduated from the same place and inshallah may Allah reward her for what she did. She is still teaching a madrasa, 40 kids in England every year. Quran, she's teaching third generation. He never said when I said I'm from Pakistan that he graduated from Lahore or from Punjab. He wasn't a citizen. As Brother Hussein said, he, you didn't say you're Shia or Sunni, you said you're Muslim, yeah? Him, he was from everywhere. May Allah allow us to do good deeds, the Sadqa Jariya. Please enjoy the food that's been given today. As we eat this food, inshallah, let's do dua for him. Let us give money, as um, Dr. Said said. 
We need the du'as from his children. We all know the Sadqa Jariyah. Please remember Sheikh Hanuti in your du'as. Please do du'as for him. May Allah reward you all. And as I said, I'm not worthy to be here with all these giants. I will give the microphone back to one of the giants. Inshallah.